<laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Boys, let's move it out. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he says. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. I see him. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're formed. At least that's how I see it. Any number of people. Especially now the words out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. A man gets more evil when he's running scared. Poor vultures! This don't look so good! God damn it! Come on, let's take a look. Slow it up now. Their trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry! Sons of bitches! This you want to run a gang of outlaws, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? You know as well as I do, Marshal. One way or another, some men gotta die. All right, boys. Let's have a look around. Nobody's in the shed. Let's go. Holy 
sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> This has gone far enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches. Waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Damn you! As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. They did unspeakable things to me. Hellfire! Looks all clear, fellas. Let's go, farmer. of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes let's go get on your horse boy all right let's go, go. Mercer, Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe. All this sure looks like their handiwork. Make sense if they cut this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marshal? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. How you treat your family? I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's a... That somebody on the cliff? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> You know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Stand here! Stay in cover and watch your head! <laughs> 
Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. <laughs> <laughs> 